गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू योर टी एस एन इंग्लिश क्लास दिस इज योर टॉपिक समराइजिंग पार्ट टू एंड टूडे विल स्टार्ट विद द न्यू पैराग्राफ रीड द टेक्स्ट बिलो एंड समराइज इट ग्रीन सहारा द ग्रेट डेजर्ट वेयर हिपोज वंस वेलोड द सहारा सेट्स अ स्टैंडर्ड फॉर ड्राई लैंड इट इज द वर्ल्ड largest desert relative humidity can drop into the low single digits there are places where it rains only about once a century there are people who reach the end of their lives without ever seeing water come from the sky yet beneath the sahara are vast aquifers of fresh water enough liquid to fill a small sea it is fossil water a treasure laid down in prehistoric time and some of it possibly a million years old just 6000 years ago the sahara was a much different place it was green prehistoric rock art in the sahara shows something surprising hippopotamuses which need year round water we don't have much evidence of a tropical paradise out there but we had something perfectly livable says jennifer smith a geologist of at washington university in st louis The Green Sahara was the product of migration of paleo monsoon in the same way the ice ages come and go so too do monsoons migrate north and south the dynamics of earth's motion are responsible the tilt of earth's axis varies in a regular cycle sometimes the planet is more tilted towards the sun sometimes less so the axis also wobbles like spinning top the date of the earth perihelion its closest approach to the sun varies in a cycle as well at times when the northern hemisphere tilts sharply towards the sun and the planets make its closest approach increase the blast of sunlight during the north summer months can cause the african monsoon which currently occurs between the equator and roughly 17 degree north latitude to shift to the north as it did 10000 years ago in undating north africa around 5000 years ago the monsoon shifted dramatically southward again the prehistoric inhabitants of sahara discovered that their relatively green surroundings were undergoing something worse than a drought and perhaps they migrated towards the nile valley where egyptian culture they migrated towards the egyptian culture began to flourish at around the same time we are learning and only in recent years that some climate changes in past have been as rapid as anything underway today say robert gignagak or university of pennsylvania geologist as the land dried out and vegetation decreased the soil lost its availability to hold water when it did rain fewer clouds formed from evaporation when it drained the water washed away and evaporated quickly there was kind of a run away drying effect by 4000 years ago the sahara had become when it is today no one knows how human driven climate change may alter the sahara in future it's something scientists can ponder while sipping bottled fossil water pumped from underground it is the best water in egypt ging gak said clean refreshing mineral water if you want to drink something good try the incident ancient buried treasure of sahara and it is written by joel akenbach 
staff writer washington post now i will uh, give you the summary of this paragraph sahara and here in this summary the purpose uh, similarly is like if we can note down the main points or we can kept or just mark the no, uh, main points in the summary then we are able to do that if the main points are to be uh, reported we present a summary it is not as severely shortened as note making so note making is a very very uh, shortened method or precise method uh, as far as summary is like uh, between 70 to 80 words so in summarizing process you have to select the main points and paraphrasing all the information uh, from the original source and you have to do these things when you analyze the paragraph completely and you have to kept all these things in uh, order to formulate your writing plan so uh, here is your summarizing and in summarizing you have to keep in mind uh, the following uh, important idea that you have to underline that important idea write down those ideas in your um, uh, notebook or just tick them over and avoid some explanation and repetition over here so this is your solution sahara is the world largest desert yet beneath the surface could be found vast aquifers of fresh water the basis of huge buried treasure of water was laid down in prehistoric time the water found is clean and refreshing 6000 years ago sahara was quite a different place it was full of greenery and water prehistoric rock art of sahara indicate the presence of hippopotamus which need water round the year migration of paleo monsoon to the sahara region led to its wet and rainy climatic condition later around 5000 years ago the monsoon shifted towards the south leaving sahara in a state of drought this led the inhabitants to migrate to the nile valley the shift in the earth axis and decreased precipitation left the place dried out consequently the soil lost its ability to hold water and vegetation decreased for past 4000 years sahara has remained the same so in this paragraph there are only the main points and it hardly contains 72 82 words so this is your answer do it in your notebook